Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube videos. If you're new here, you're really welcome. My name's Laura and this video has been requested by a lot of you asking about what things I made use of and purchased before going into medical school in first year. So I've just finished my first year at Queen's University Belfast and there's a couple of things that you might want to know about purchasing or getting before medical school just to make things easier and also help the journey of going into medical school and sort of adjusting to how everything works at university. So one of the first things that a lot of people think about when they hear that they're going to medical school is what stethoscope and where to get it from and when you should get it. This was definitely a concern of mine whenever I was thinking about what sort of things I needed to bring with me to medical school. However, don't rush it because there's actually quite a good chance that your university will have good offers whenever you start medical school and will help actually subsidise some of the cost of buying some of your equipment. Whenever I started first year, within the first maybe one or two weeks, I was given a token of I think about 5%, 10% discount on my stethoscope whenever I went to purchase it. And that was really, really handy because it allowed me to know one, what type of stethoscope was best suited for the course and two, where to actually get it from and get it at the best cost. So this is the stethoscope I ended up actually going and buying and there are quite a number of options, colours, shapes, sizes that you can get but it is important to know what type your university will look for on the course. So it is worth waiting in my opinion for the first week or so of university before rushing and going and buying a stethoscope. One, it will save you some stress and it will also save you some money which as a student is very important. Next, you might want to think about how you're going to take notes and lectures. Are you going to be recording things? Are you going to be jotting it down by hand? Or are you going to be using technology? So for me, throughout school, I just used old fashioned pen and paper and notes that the teachers gave. But for medical school, I kind of realised, especially because I was still at the tail end of COVID with things still being online, that I might want to invest in some sort of equipment to help me sort of note take, to watch lectures on, and also just to make things a little bit easier. So I decided to get an iPad and it's made things a lot easier in terms of note taking, um, using it for watching lectures on. It's also compatible with my MacBook, which is really helpful. And it allows me to watch videos, watch YouTube, um, make things like PowerPoint and just actually use all the apps, which I've made a full video about which were my favorite apps in first year. So do check that out if you are looking for apps to maybe download and uh, to make use of as well but definitely for me an iPad has been really really useful it's been super helpful with allowing me to write out my notes because I got the Apple Pencil with it which was really really good and you actually get a lot of student discounts if you go on to the Apple uh, website they've got a thing for education which actually reduces the cost of the iPad and the rest of the accessories as well which is definitely something I'd recommend so do check that out if you're thinking of purchasing a tablet or a computer or something for university. Next up, which might sound a bit silly, but definitely made a difference for me, was when I moved into university accommodation, the noise really was a lot louder than I was used to at home. And it did mean that for the first couple of nights, it was quite difficult to sleep, which for medical school throughout the year isn't ideal, especially if you're going to exams. So I got a pair of earplugs, which I found very useful and would highly recommend if you are a light sleeper or if you find that you do get woken up by other people people in your uni accommodation. So it definitely helped me and hopefully you can make use of them as well. Another thing I get asked about a lot is do you need to wear specific clothes for uni or do you need to buy lab coats and things? At Queen's they don't make you go and buy your lab coat, they provide that, but you do sometimes have to get scrubs um, and pay for them a little bit. I was actually very fortunate that they give you a free pair of scrubs to begin with and I haven't needed any more pairs than that. Um, so do check out what your university looks for in terms of clothing and things you'll need for ward rounds or for dealing with patients because that might be something you need to think about before going to uni or it might be something they'll discuss when you get there. So do find out from friends or for from the university themselves. 
Another thing I would definitely recommend getting is a good alarm clock because you will definitely want to sleep in after nights out and it can be quite difficult to drag yourself to anatomy class or microanatomy or clinical skills. So do sort of maintain punctuality because it is quite important, especially when you're doing medicine and definitely an alarm clock for me was very useful. It might sound silly, but also a good pair of walking shoes. For me, I walked between the university accommodation and my buildings and hospitals that I would have done a lot of my lectures and um, anatomy classes in. So it is definitely really important to have comfortable footwear so that you're not complaining about sore feet halfway through the day because it can really be off-putting and it's not ideal when you will be walking quite a fair distance at university. Another piece of kit that I would definitely recommend is a portable charger or just chargers in general. There are plenty of charging facilities around the university, but when you're using your devices so often, it, they drain very, very quickly. So it is a really good idea to have them on standby and have a couple of them so that you're always equipped and fully charged for whatever sort of notes you might need to take or lectures you might need to watch. And finally, some things you might want to think about purchasing and I found very useful are apps. I've made a full video about apps that I used during first year at medical school and they were very minimal costs, but definitely do think about these in advance of going into medical school, just so you can get a fair understanding of how they're used and maybe what apps you find more useful than others. So I hope you found that video useful and if you did, please go give it a like down below and share it with any of your friends that are going into first year as well. I found this sort of stuff was quite daunting and it can be quite hard to know what to invest in and what to just wait and hold off for more advice on. So do make sure to check out the rest of my channel and if you haven't already done so, please go hit that subscribe button down below to stay up to date with all my new videos and content that I'll be releasing to help you get through medical school and also just a bit of information that I wish I had had earlier on. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye!